Right, well, it's now Tuesday the 5th of January. After last night's news, I've pretty much had today's plans messed up. It's gone one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm only just getting out to run the errands that I would have been doing at nine straight after the school run, but obviously the schools are now shut. I'm not going to complain too much, I'll just say this. I'm still going to chalk today up so far as a personal win. We had a sleep in, so I didn't have to get up as early, so that's always a bonus. We did breakfast, got washed and dressed, and I've done some school work with Watson. We haven't done enough school work. His teachers and school, by the way, is brilliant. The teachers stayed up last night. Just before I went to bed, I decided to check the app that the school uses just to see if there was anything else that I needed to read. I went on and the teachers had stayed up and uploaded work for them to do all ready for today. The school, although it's officially open for key workers' children, they've asked everyone if they could keep the kids off today while the teachers and the head figure out how big the class sizes are going to be and who's getting places. They're prioritising children where both children are key workers or if they're vulnerable or if they've got extra needs. So Watson doesn't fall within that list. So it's homeschooling for the foreseeable. I got some work out of him. Not enough work for the whole day, but it was as much work as I got out of him the entire first lockdown. So that's why I'm chalking it up as a win. He asked if he'd finished and I said, no, you've not done enough, but we will have to do some after tea. And he said, OK, I've got a feeling that might go wrong, but I still think we've done all right. We've had no tears or tantrums. By now, if things had been normal, the stuff that I've come out to do would have been done and I'd be taking the tree down. But as long as I get it down for tonight, I'm not bothered. As long as I still get everything done in the day that I need to do, I'm not bothered. But it would have been nice to be able to get everything done in the six hours that he's at school for. Um, I've just drove through one of our little local towns where I've come to get some stuff that I need. And there's loads of people about. I'm not really understanding this lockdown. I feel like it only affects people in... I don't know in certain circumstances, like key workers have still got the jobs, businesses are shut again, only essential things are open, yet there's people walking about everywhere, it's weird, it's not like before, not everything's shut, I don't, I really don't understand where Boris is going with this, anyway, I'm going to go get my stuff because I need to get home and make a start at on getting the decorations down before it's time to make Watson some food because he eats earlier than us, so tea time goes on for quite a long time for us. So I'll see you when I've got the tree done. Right, I've got my bits now. I'm back in the car. I've seen quite a few kids about. Not every person's walking around with kids, but there's kids whose schools have now been shut. These was primary school age kids. Some of them might have been high school kids that are maybe in the first year, but they're losing out on their education. I really don't like this. I know they're saying that this virus is serious, but when I live a lot of schools, especially where I live, I had one hell of a lot of absence in December last year for two reasons. Where we was, there was norovirus going around and some schools were close for that. But in our school, a lot of people had a mysterious case of the flu. And in our school in particular, since the schools opened in September, like I said in the previous video, we haven't had that many cases. So it confuses me that every day you can put the telly on and you get these new numbers fired at you. In the first lockdown, it was focused on how many had died each day. And then since the country opened back up more and we've gone in and out of lockdowns and tears and stuff, the firing case numbers at you. But what they don't seem to be looking into, and this is what I find really suspicious, they're not looking into how many people might have already had COVID before we knew about it. I personally think I had it. Me and my son and pretty much all the members of my family were all really ill, really, really ill in December. And of course, we just chalked it up to the flu. It felt like the flu. Watson's breathing got so bad. And unlike me, he's not asthmatic. But Watson's breathing got so bad that I ended up taking him to the kids' A&E. On that same day, that happened to be the day there was a woman in the news who claimed her kid had been made to lie on the floor. I was there that day. I was there around that time. I didn't see anybody made to lay on the floor. It was very busy. There wasn't enough seats in the waiting room. If it was COVID, I dare say more people who went in feeling fine, who took the child in for another reason, probably left with flu or covid that day because of how many of us were crammed in there the hospitals could not cope in december that is a fact it was all over the news 
They could not cope. Flu was rife last winter. And they're not looking into this. They're not looking into this. Since I had that, I used to go boxing. I used to go boxing training twice a week. I used to go years ago. I was training right up until I was expecting Watson. I stopped going completely. I had 15 months off. I went back and since then I've been at that boxing gym every week without fail. Sometimes it's only once a week when I'm busy. I generally go twice a week. When I got ill in December, I obviously didn't go. I had three weeks off. The trainer thought that I'd just stopped coming. When I went back, I really struggled and I mean I struggled for weeks. I was only just starting to get my fitness back. Things got serious and they started talking about lockdown and I stopped going about two weeks before lockdown. I actually pulled my child out of school at that time. I wouldn't have taken him out if I'd known how long they were going to have off. I'd have probably just waited till they closed the schools. And the thing that I'm trying to say is, since then, my breathing has not been 100%. I went to a doctor recently for a different reason and whilst I was in there, he said, is there anything else? And I mentioned it, and when I described how I felt this one particular night when I was hit, when I was ill, this was after I'd taken Watson to the hospital, I felt fine at that time, and then I came down with it. It felt like the flu, and I would keep feeling better, and then go back worse again. And that is something that they told us in the news early on, that it would feel like that. And that's what a lot of people I know who were ill kept saying on Facebook, that they'd been better for a few days, and then gone back down ill. Well, I'd been better this particular day and then started to get worse again one night and all of a sudden my breathing went. I have not struggled like that with my breathing for years. I've got asthma where I have to take inhalers every day. I'm off to the chemist actually to pick my prescription up after this. I have to take inhalers every day, but it's well-controlled asthma. I haven't been hospitalised with it in years and all of a sudden my breathing went i tried to phone gary who was at the pub and i couldn't get through and um, this particular pub's got really thick old walls there's no signal in fact there's no signal in that part of where where we live it's terrible and it started to panic me that i couldn't get hold of him i thought this flu was turning into pneumonia but i've developed a technique over the years how to calm myself down and not panic i stayed upright and i drank hot drinks because that's what i'd do in that situation anyway and I started to get better, but I was awake all of that night. I kept myself upright. By now, Watson was better. Obviously, if I'd known then what I know now and knew that it was COVID, I wouldn't have sent him into school, but I sent him back in. He was fine. He just had a sniffle by then, and I was in bed all day that day. I kept myself propped up with a lot of pillars, and I slept a lot of his school day, but I truly believe that I had it. Since then, even though I went back to boxing for a short while, I've had breathing difficulties. I've been on some new medication this year, but I had side effects to that and come off of it. I had to have my asthma review over the phone. I also told the asthma nurse about what happened that night. I went into more detail than what I have done now. And obviously the doctor and the asthma nurse can't say, oh yes, you had COVID because they can't investigate it. But they do believe that I did. They said that it does very much sound like I had it. So what gives? My point is they keep firing these numbers at us every single day on the telly, but they're not looking into how many people have already had it. We need a total number. When this kicked off, they started talking about getting herd immunity. Well, how do we know if we've reached it yet or not? If they're not fully looking into the numbers, this is what doesn't add up. I've gone, what? talking about i've seen them kids they're not in school getting their education all right there's not 30 of them crammed to a classroom anymore but it's putting more bodies in the shops if you can't if you can only have so many bodies close together why can they be roaming about the shops my kid's not he's at home with his dad i know some people have no choice but to take the kids out i'm not blaming the parents but i'm just don't see how making them stay at home forcing people to have time off work who might lose the job because of it will do more damage to the economy and damage to the kids that's not getting their education they're not getting the routine something absolutely stinks in all of this and i know this is just supposed to be a vlog of what i'm doing this week but i've always been a very opinionated person and i will not stop putting my opinion out there and I won't let anybody shut me up either. So it's off to the chemist and I'll see you later. I almost forgot to show you. Look at this dancing Donald Trump we've got. Gary's brother got him this for Christmas. It's solar powered. So when the sun comes out, Donald dances. <laughs> well, that's that dealt with, sort of. You done? What have you done? Your schoolwork for today? Yeah, but I missed to do another one. Have we had a better day than yesterday? Yeah. We've done more schoolwork, haven't we? We're going to have playtime now.
Yeah, but we need another one there. Watson, is... Yeah, we'll finish that in a second. Is homeschooling better because you get to keep your pyjamas on all day? Yep. Yep. Or if homeschooling was on Zoom where we were doing it on a video lesson, would you wear your uniform? Because you had your real teacher. Watson? Sweetheart? Sweetheart? If we were doing Zoom lessons where you'd see your own teacher on video, would you wear your uniform? Yeah. yeah. So which is better, uniform and teacher, or mama's the teacher and you get to stay in your jammers? Um, get to stay in your jammers. Cool. Right, don't mess about with that too much because if you accidentally delete it, well, you've got to do your work again. Okay. Okay. Iron in. So the tree coming down was Tuesday. Yesterday was Wednesday and we had the most god awful homeschooling day. It was terrible. Tuesday we woke up late. I don't know if I've already said that, did I? Anyway, Tuesday we woke up late and we did a bit of schooling but I had to go out and run those errands so I thought oh, it's alright we'll catch up Wednesday. Wrong. Wednesday we did slightly more than Tuesday and Watson had a complete meltdown in fact he pretty much he had a panic attack I had to contact the teacher to see if there was anything we could do if there's any chance he could have a place if anyone drops out but they've, there's a lot more people who have changed jobs since all this happened and the key workers so we haven't got a prayer of getting him back into school anytime soon so today after speaking after messaging his teacher another teacher from the school called me back sent me some breathing exercises to practice that Watson can use then in case it happens again but today he's been absolutely fine as soon as we got up and had breakfast we did some school work which is what you saw in that clip and then we had playtime and dinner time and I got some of my stuff done and then we've sat down again and we're up to speed now on the three days so that's really good complete contrast to the other two days we've made up what we were short of and we've done all of today's work so that's gone a lot better uh, other things I've done I ordered this a couple of days ago on Amazon it's a fast charging plug for Gary's iPhone because you don't get a plug in the box anymore he's been using an old charger we've got Prime at the minute it wasn't on Prime but it was still free delivery it said eight to ten days and I only ordered it two or three days ago so that was good I haven't even told him that's it yet and that's pretty much today I've just looked outside and there's some big snowflakes coming down not fast but quite big so if it snows the way that they've said it's going to do in our area overnight tomorrow school work will be cancelled and we'll have a snow day and then i'll just get him to do some school work on saturday and hopefully he won't know any different also i almost forgot hair dye this will be the third time now since all this kicked off i last had my hair cut and colored at the hairdressers last january nearly a year it's been um i got to july without having my hair done even though the hairdressers had opened back up my hair was actually in really good condition with all the hot weather that we had I just pretty much let my hair dry a lot on a night so I think that helped and it got to July and we were going out and about a little bit again so I got this I used a darker colour than this the first time because when I went to choose one there was a lot of shades missing it was either this colour or a really 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 like bleached out bright one that I didn't want then I got my hair cut in October and dyed it again myself and I used this shade and I liked it so I've got it again in some of the supermarkets like Morrison's and Asda they're on offer it was two for nine pound or maybe two for ten pound so bargain don't know when I'm gonna get my hair cut again um, I suppose it'll be whenever I can Homeschooling on the iPad for the win. Watson, are we having a good day today with the homeschooling? We've started late, haven't we? But we had a brilliant day yesterday. He's had a phone call from one of the teachers who's amazed how much work we handed in last night. We actually caught up on the Tuesday and Wednesday. Hey, what are you doing? That's cheating. <laughs> Rub them out and you have to write the same word again in the boxes. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> 
Yeah, so Tuesday and Wednesday we didn't do enough, but yesterday we caught right up and did all of yesterday's work. And his teachers are super impressed after him having a melt complete meltdown on Wednesday. We're taking advantage of the iPad and the Apple Pencil. What we can do is the PDF files that the teachers send with the worksheets... Sometimes there's a video or something to watch first or something I have to read and explain to him and then there's a corresponding worksheet. If we screenshot it and then immediately tap on the little screenshot in the corner of the iPad screen, it opens and he can use the pencil to write directly onto the sheet and then I just save it to the photo reel and then when we've completed everything, I can upload it back yeah. onto the app. It's a brilliant way of doing it. We are also doing some handwriting practice in his book as well so that he doesn't forget how to write properly. Would you say today's going well, Watson? Even though we only started about 20 minutes ago, what are you doing? Um, I... I just... Well, stay, stick to that pen, stick to that pen, like what you're supposed to be doing, hang on, look, and then, I want to do 22. Look, there, look, I'm now you've got to do the same word again, but in those boxes. The bond of 20... What do you um, mean, 22? Um, 92. Right. When we got up this morning, we thought we might be getting a snow day, we only had a light dust in, but it kept snowing and snowing, um, I'll just show you out of one of the windows... It's just like this. It's been disappointing. We thought if we got straight on with some schoolwork that we'd be able to play out after, but no. Um, yeah, so the hair dye that I bought the other day is on. It's Friday night. Today's learning didn't go as well as yesterday. We didn't get everything done. But it was still better than Monday or Tuesday. Anything that he's got left to do, I might squeeze it out of him tomorrow. I'm going to have to end the vlog now because I need to rinse this off. And I also need to edit this to get it up on time for tomorrow. If there's any more developments in the news, I might do a quick video. Like my little Boris ones, just to whack on there. But yes, to stick to the upload schedule, this needs to be edited by tomorrow. So, bye!